This week I had all of my tools either break or become too expensive to make, so I ended up being reduced to one of these. Uh, I got the levels back, and well, I really wanted to avoid that from happening again. This spot always feels like home to me for some reason. I guess I just spent so many time starting the episodes here that, well, it has become my home. At least for start. And you seem to be stuck there. But anyways, anyways, I decided that this, this, the town, like the the wall's nice. The, I really like the wall, but the town itself, I don't think has gotten really that much love lately. I've been busy doing other things, running off, doing other things, and I'm thinking, well, there's there's more things I still want to do with this place. So I think I, we're gonna do those things. One of them is um this this nice little this clock tower obviously I'm I really like it and I enjoy it. but I've noticed that well for starters you guys must be really patient or something cuz that is not in the middle and I think I'm going to change that but more importantly I wanted to give this tower a little more of a reason to work than just the redstone inside of it so what I want to do is actually make some kind of a mechanism looking thing that will sort of justify the fact that it's all moving so I can get a better view of this oh, also I'm gonna add in a uh, a wood cutting mill type building and a fishing hut on the lake and probably some bridges so those will be coming up so what I want to do is I'll put like some sort of a uh, a water wheel on the side of this thing and I might as well make it a big one because I think it would justify the fact that these are pretty huge looking mechanisms up here. And I want to have that be the power source. I, I think it's one thing to have redstone and stuff. And you know it's powered by redstone. But even if it is, I want to actually give, at least give off the illusion that there's other working parts. And maybe even hide the fact that it is redstone. So there's two ways I could do that. One way is to take the river down there and you know kind of scoot it over that way. So maybe have it like run out here more and come across there, which is kind of a lot of work. So I'm liking the other option I thought of, which is have the water come from a higher area. And well, I happen to have found this already. If this didn't exist before, I guess I could have made it exist. But it's sort of giving me the idea, oh, there's like a a natural water spring thing here. So if I can take this and somehow bring it over there and have it run into the water wheel, maybe if like, um, I don't know, maybe like a bridge, sort of like a, that kind of technical engineering I bet these these people could have been capable of so something to bring the water across and to make a wheel here I think would look good then from there it could wash off that way and what a wheel would do is that maybe I can connect other things to it inside of the uh, the place there so there it, there actually will be inner workings in there so what I'm gonna do and this is a little bit different is instead of just going through the whole building process and stuff, I'm going to cut to me being done. So basically it's going to be an explanation before and after. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to have all the footage set up somehow, just as like, just for people who are curious to watch the process of the building. But anyways, let's cut to that. <laughs> okay, back up the top. And well, uh, here it is. Looks, I'm I'm actually pretty happy with how this turned out. This is the uh, let's let's go down here and see just what I've done. Um, the water comes from the spring here, goes through this tunnel, and shoots right across this lovely path. And I'll go over what happened in there, but I've changed a few things as you can see. I'll just take this down and goes right in like nothing happened so and here's the uh oh here we go here's a good look at the wheel uh it's it's big enough 
definitely big enough. <laughs> and it goes inside there. And I was trying to figure out what type of structural support would look best here because this is kind of kind of big. But oh, here's here's the bottom. Might as well show it because I fell in. Um, here's another another view over here. I think that looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, as far as the exterior and let's take a look at the uh, the interior. Prepare yourself. Three, two, one, boom. Oh, if I can get in the door. So this might take a little bit of explanation about what's going on. I took the floor and went straight down. And and down here I tried to make the uh, give the wheel a spot, the water wheel. This is connected to it. And as the wheel turns, it should turn this thing. This is the best I could best I could do to make another wheel. And then this connects down here, goes up into wherever that'll go. And the I guess the uh the whole thing that runs the show. <laughs> and in case I fall there's a ladder there. And I made this uh kind of a nice fun area in here. Sort of if you really want to get up you can uh if you really want to get up you can hop across. And I noticed that if I was on the fences if I was on the fence about all this, I would actually hit my head on the roof. So I brought that up to half slab level. And then from here you can go up and you can get to the bridge or you can see the inside. I've simplified it back to the the version where it was supposed to be the mine cart going down. And it still works. It just doesn't have the spider webs. Oh wait, I have spider webs. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back with some of the cobwebs so we can finally do this right. And just as a reminder, this design was by AKA Germinator, another YouTuber that had this really ingenious, I think, way of making this run longer than before. And just having the minecart go through some cobwebs. As you can see, it uh, it does go down. It just takes its time, and it's so smart to, to think about this. I kind of want to make sure that it fully goes through before I walk away. Oh, okay. I guess it did. Uh, that went a lot faster than I thought. So, uh, closing remarks on this. I'm glad that it's uh, working now. If I ever can, I want to make it look like things are powered not by just standard redstone, but by the environment around it. And also little things like this support went right through the water. So by recarving it around it, I made it s the, the thickness of the water stayed the same. And... I think that's that little things like that really do help a lot. This lovely area, the cows over here, our uh, sort of tree farm thing over there. I figure this would be a good spot for a wood mill. Um, you know, um, just that was a big um. Wow, that's like tremendous. So I, I found a pretty good design online. And let me get that name really fast. Enderman's End. Uh, he has a pretty good design, and it has a uh, a wheelhouse. It's simple, but I think it's very effective. I mean, wheelhouse? It has a water wheel on it. So there's sort of like a river here. And I think that I could probably build it around the edge of this, and it'd be close to the tree farm, probably facing toward it. I might take down this hill a little bit, too depending on whether the design will work with it or not. We'll see. This is a nice dramatic view. Camera one. Camera two... I don't know about... <laughs> I think I let these go a little too wild. But then again, it is an uh, active tree farm. As you can see, I've planted a few before I started building this, and they've all grown nicely. So the canopy is actually justified up there. 
This this turned out perfect, like exactly what I wanted. This design wasn't his. But it's more. I don't know who was the first person to figure this out. Who the first genius is? But I've seen this around a lot. It's just really cool. I like the fact that you know it's. I might turn this into a uh, a nicer looking, maybe less practical but more nicer looking tree area. And it would make sense if there was one here because there's a lot of things made of wood in the town, like houses and stuff. And also I I sort of channeled the river a little bit more, or I took, I took some of the dirt out so that the, uh, the water wheel could sit comfortably. And from here, as you can see, it looks really quite nice. So uh, big ups for this design, that's a, that's a very nice. I also like the fact that there's a uh, a pile here, so the wood gets cut up there and falls on here. That's a really uh, a really nice touch. And here's one more view of the inside, and very cool little things like having this be the uh, the cutting blade right at the side of the wheel. There's just a lot of really good ideas going on in here. Magnificent is um, I think in need or in want. I don't know, need and want. I think that there should be some sort of a uh, a fishing hut out here. And once again, I was browsing around. I found a really good design for one because I didn't really know how to make one or what it would really look like. And it was by a guy named Wubsy. And it was very simple but elegant, I thought. So I think we're going to try to nestle one right in here for the rest of the so it's just another couple houses coming in here, you know, moving into town. I'm kind of excited about that. I think we can fit it right over here. Might need to move some of the landscape around. I'm not sure. I guess we'll see. Oh, there it is from a distance. Looking good over there. Let's get a little bit closer. Here it is from across. Oh, I fell in. And right next to it. And slightly behind. So this, I actually kind of took a few creative liberties for this. One thing, I made the dock stick out a little further and uh, resting on a block on top of the water. The original design actually was in the water. And there, was, there were some elevation changes that I kind of messed around with over here. And also it's a mirror image going this way. So this building is supposed to be over here. I also kind of made this overhang thing. But for the most part, it's all uh, the design, and it looks quite nice. And this actually reminds me of all the interior design that I still have to do. I've been kind of putting that off because that's not really my uh, my strength. But I think that's going to have to change soon, especially if I want to make this place look good. There's no intent to be fancy with these. The The main thing is... Well, look at the resources. It's just going to be um, slabs of each of these. But I think we can make something that looks pretty nice. Um, so let's see. Uh, might as well make it too wide. And these will be the supports on each side. I guess I could use blocks for this, but... A little bit more freedom with this. Some water. Might as well extend it down. And let's make it kind of kind of arch a little bit. So this way, it kind of looks like they're the full blocks, but just sort of splitting the difference between where they can actually exist. And for the floor, I'll probably just put it one lower than whatever block that's going on. <laughs> whatever block that's going on next to it. I'll just go one below that. Pretty not fancy. I guess I'll eventually deepen this a little bit so you can go under it. That'd be kind of nice. I, I like having that as a feature. Uh, I could do that, but that looks kind of bad. <laughs> I know. I'll I'll do this for now. I'll just put these on. 
Hopefully nothing spawns on this thing. So that's one of them that's straight on. And this one's going to be going across pretty similarly. I noticed that I, I traverse these areas. So these are more like, not like, oh, this looks like a nice spot for a bridge. But like, I would actually use these bridges. I'm going to try it for a similar thing as the other one, but just at an angle. So something like that. And same as before, I'm just going to uh, make it the level up here and have it go down a level, one level less than each of these. And I tried to make that a full square because eventually, if this was a block deeper, you just want this one too. And, oh, continuity. Continuity error. Oh yeah, there's two more continuity errors. I try for realistic. Alright, so if you take a look around, you can't really see the sawmill from here. Oh, you kind of can. These are the things that have been added. And, yeah, see like this. I, I run across this so much. Because I, I decided it would be a great idea to put the enchantment table in there. And usually the mines over there are just super far away from each other. So this is me giving the town some love. I'd, I'm going to give it some more love next time. I think in the next episode, I think I'm going to actually have a sort of area for the, um, the people of this town to live. Because I noticed that these are more kind of like shops than actual houses. And that will be next episode. But since you stayed long enough, stayed this long... I'm going to go ahead and leave you with the footage of me building these things. So, this has been Red McNed. I'll see you guys in another video.